a team destined to fight the evils of the Negaverse. Sailor Moon rises next in the zone. So I, had to, yeah. I couldn't stop. You gotta keep going. What's no, in that groove? You follow it. Yeah. You know that. You know what they say? Hip hop. You don't stop, though. That's what they're talking about. Okay. Listen to this. I get. Come here. I'm, I'm here. I'm Everybody right here. come. Everybody come this way, okay? Cameraman, snip. Let's all go. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's go. I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> the old snip can't move joke. <laughs> I love it. I never get bored of it. <laughs> Okay, I have a, I have an email from Daryl Fum, Fumerton, Fumerton, I hope that's right, F-U-M-E-R-T-O-N, Fumerton, Fumerton, yeah, okay, so here it goes, dear Phil and Snit, I've written to the zone about five times, and I think the zone is cool, but they're, actually, wait, hold on, see that guy leaving? Okay, just left, can okay. I tell a real, before we read the mail, can I tell a real funny story? He's on his way, I'm in his office, he's on his way out, all right? And he's got, he wants to go, he wants to get something done. He gets his coat, the phone rings. Yeah. And um, he picks up the phone and he says, oh, I'll give it any name, but he says, and uh, do you ever have one of those people is the last person you want to talk to because they'll talk to you for hours, right? Just as he's leaving, oh. eh? And it's like this. And we know the guy, myself and this other guy in the room, we know the person that called, we know that this person, his name, uh, if we're going to hear it, he's going to talk forever, right? Yeah. So he's like, oh, hi, Vadim. <laughs> so we just started wailing just because we knew he was on his way out. And this guy was going to have him on the phone forever. I know it's fun. All right, Jeff Phillips, now I've been to the zone about five times. I think the zone is cool, but there's one thing I don't like about it anymore. You, you, Snit, never read letters anymore. That's why I think Snit is dumb. I used to like listening to you, Snit, read letters from people all over Canada. Why don't you do that anymore, Snit? PJ Phil is cool. Do you believe because, that? Well, I pick letters. I don't know why he's so mad at you and not me. I mean, hey, I'm the fall guy too. Don't blame it all on him. Let me take some of the rap, okay? Who <laughs> no, picked that letter? Egghead. <laughs> so. Hey, hey, you made that up. What? What? Right here. Read, what does it really okay. say? What does it say right here? What does it say? It Tell says, it, read it. Phil, you've been awfully goofy lately. Please do something about it. No, that's not what it says. Read, right there. Read the top line for me. Phil, wash that mascara off your face. Oh, yeah, that's what it says. Do you see this? Do you see that? Wait, what? Wait, ma mascara off the face. See? No, no, now we can read it. <laughs> it's like a big puzzle, isn't it? A big, easy puzzle. <laughs> okay, seriously, though. No, no, seriously, he's real. All right, so, bubblegum boy. Where's your maker, huh? The guy who wheeled you in here. I haven't seen him in a while. Me neither, Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. All right, oh, there's a cool letter. Okay, well, when we come back, we're going to read our letters. But this one has a picture. And when we come back... Hollywood. Now what you're about to see is me doing my little introduction at the Planet of Hollywood, but you won't see any stars. I still have to cut that together, like oh. edit it together, all the footage. Let's see the outside of it anyway. You want to see? The, you you'll be able to see basically what the, what this is. What you're going to see is they barricaded this red carpet going all the way to a stage and all the way around into the restaurant. And what the stars would do, they'd sh show up in their limos and go up this red carpet, talk to some of the media, say hi to some of the fans, go up on stage, speak on the mic, and then go back into the restaurant, right? Okay, so uh, this is basically me introing what it was like to be Let's go. the Planet Hollywood. So uh, take a look. But you won't see I'm here in San Antonio for the All-Star Celebration. Now, one of the big things that's happening in the city 
is the opening of a plan in Hollywood. Big stars are going to be happening, you know, Bruce Willis, Demi Moore, Arnold Schwarzenegger's coming, all the flurry of stars. It's like a really, really big thing in San Antonio where it's like Jerry Lewis showing up in Paris, okay? Now, just to give you an idea how excited these people are, check this out. All right, you guys excited to be here? It's happening out here in San Antonio. Let's see if we can talk to some stars. Wow. Boy, that's quite a crowd out there. I gotta I got tell you, you know how many people filled the uh, streets in the area around this planet Hollywood in San Antonio? 110,000. I Ooh, kid you not. That's like the population of Fredericton. That was, that was the number they gave me. 110,000 people showed up on the streets to look at their favorite stars. Wow. Like behind that barricade, just packed full of people. The streets were packed full of people. It was crazy, man. That's amazing. So do we see stars walking along that? You will see stars. And I did get to talk to a couple. Oh. Which is cool. But, but Jerry I mean, Lewis? I, you know what? We shouldn't have even aired that because you wouldn't even be able to see it until it gets all, it all edited together. But you will. Stay tuned to The Zone because I'll be airing this stuff. I don't. I can't even say when. So if you, if you miss it, you won't see it. That's right. But and we're I not know, pulling a TV trick either. No, no. But I know I'm going to be going into editing very soon. To tell you the truth, my schedule is just crazy. Since, since I got back. Every time I get back from being away for 10 days, I, I try to edit all this stuff together as quick as I can. But also, the anti-gravity people, then they, they won't. So that's what They're happens. They're demanding. They need me to do shoots. Yeah. In fact, I have to do a shoot tomorrow with the anti-gravity people, do links. But guess, get this. Uh-huh. Actually, no, I won't say. No. I shouldn't say. But, oh, what a well, tease. Yeah, well, I know. That's, that's the ultimate tease. No, but basically, the gist of the story is that I'll be doing some anti-gravity work tomorrow. So when do I get into edit? Never. Well, Sunday, maybe a weekend. But I'll tell you what to expect, okay? There's some anti-gravity guys right now. Oh. Look, it's anti-gravity guys. Are. And that other tall guy, you'll see him in a new bumper in the anti-gravity room, dressed like a burglar. Oh. <laughs> he looks but, like a burglar, doesn't he? No, we know him in the office. He, he ain't tough. He's cool. He's a cool cat, though. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's the ultimate of cool cat. He plays bass. Oh. Uh, Actually, you know who the tall guy is? Who? He's the producer for the anti-gravity. Whoa. We're up next, dumb. But stay tuned, eh? Sometime you're going to see all the stars in San Antonio pretty soon. Oh. And my top player is called the Yo. Zone. Oh, shut up. Yeah.